Hey everyone and welcome to another GT Online video here on the channel. Today I have some intel for you on the December 2023 DLC from none other than lucas 7 Yoshi, who is a reputable data miner in the community. He tweeted this out earlier today. Some DLC info, quite a few missions, a robbery involving a sub, robbing vehicles from Maze Bank, a cargo ship, Mission Row, and the casino, which we could see in that screenshot that they showed off initially. New weapon, new tattoos, approximately 150 or more clothing items, and this would be not including the GTA Plus clothing items that are ultimately going to be brought into the game, and no new non-GTA Plus garage space, which is kind of unfortunate, although I kind of expected there to be no new garage space because of that huge Eclipse Boulevard garage that they added a couple of updates ago. I would hope in the next DLC, though, they do add in some non-GTA Plus garage space because those 50 slots aren't going to last forever. And by next DLC, I mean the one that's going to be ultimately in the summertime, I would assume. Overall, this seems about on par with the Drug Wars update because if you think about it, Drug Wars was really only like five missions, not counting the drip feed. And I guess there was the whole business aspect, too. But I also doubt this is everything because he doesn't mention a vehicle count. We can expect anywhere from like 14 to 17 new vehicles with the GTA Line update usually, with 6 to 8 releasing on day 1. And Rockstar already mentioned there's going to be a holiday event thrown in there too, so I would expect a little more content than what he says here. I am quite curious what that new weapon is going to be. Hopefully it's something that's actually usable within normal gameplay like the SMG was from the last update. I'm personally hoping they throw in some more cut weapons like the programmable AR or some Battle to Get Tony weapons from GTA 4. I'm guessing tomorrow we will get some official news from Rockstar as well as a release date for the next DLC. It's still possible they could say something later today, but it would be unusual. Anyways, let me know your thoughts on this information down in the comments. What do you hope the new weapon is going to end up being? And if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more G10 Line DLC coverage. I also want to give a huge shout out to my channel members for your support. If you'd like to become a member for some exclusive perks, you can either use the join button or the link that's down in the description. And as always. Thanks for watching and have a great day.